What's going on guys, Rahul here, aka Roz Reacts, back again with another Red Velvet reaction. I just reacted to their comeback, Cosmic, the music video, absolutely loved it. Make sure to check out my reaction to that if you haven't already. If you're coming from that, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy, and if you do enjoy this one, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Join the Discord server as well, follow the Twitch, join the Patreon, all that stuff is in the description. But yeah, I'm not going to waste any more time because I absolutely loved the comeback, the title track, and I'm super excited for these B-sides. So let's get right into it. I'm using the Shadow by Yungi um, channel for all of these. They have the most views, so hopefully these are accurate in terms of like the lyrics. They're the best I can do though, so hopefully, like, we'll see. Anyways, Sunflower, first song. She got me hypnotized already, bro, with those vocals. So does Joy, bro. I love, like, I always say how much I love her vocal tone. I like that drum or like. The constant banging in the background. It's a very intense song so far, like in terms of it's very upbeat and like loud. I like it. I like the flow of that part and obviously her vo vocals. I like this part. I love this part. Ooh, I love her vocals there. I love this part with like the the music in the background. That part is super addicting. That flow. Love Joy's vocals, bro. That was a gr good start to the album. I like that one. You got me hypnotized. Du, 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 du. I like that part specifically. Um, it was very like upbeat. Like I said, um, I, I was I was kind of surprised at how up upbeat it was. I don't really know why though, because it was called Sunflower, so I guess that makes sense. It was like a, it get, definitely had a summery vibe to the song and a very like upbeat and fun, um, 
vibe. So I definitely like that. I think it was a really good start to the album. Um, I'll definitely add that to my playlist. My definitely my summer vibes playlist or my like driving playlist because I feel like that's a song you'd listen to while driving. I feel like that one would hit while driving. But anyways, next B side, last drop. There's always like one or two B-sides in their albums that I just love. Ooh, I like the way she sang the O. Oh. I like the flow. I like the, the music in the background there. It was cool. I definitely like the flow and like the rhythm. It's very catchy. Yeah, she she went off for that part. I like the flow, like I said. I don't know if it's something I would listen to that often though. It's got a very nice like blend though with the music and the the blend of their vocals together. Yeah, I I liked it. I definitely like the song. I just don't see myself like I don't think I would add that to my playlist. I feel like if it came on, I would definitely vibe to it. And, and I like it, but it's just something I don't think I would add specifically. It had a nice flow, and it was it was catchy. Everything about it was good, but it was just good. Like, that's the thing. It wasn't, like, amazing. Like, nothing really got my attention. Like, the other song, Sunflower, that definitely had my, like, it felt like a summer vibe. It felt like a vibe that I could listen to while driving. Some There's, like, many specific moments where I feel like I would enjoy that song. For Last Drop, it was just like, it's a good song, but it's like, are there moments I would want to play this? I don't think so. So, I mean, that's just off first listen, though. A lot of the times, the songs that I don't like that much off the first listen become, like, my favorite after a while. So, we'll see how it how it goes. But for right now, first listen, definitely Sunflower over Last Drop. But let's see. There's still three more B-sides. Love Arcade. This sounds like it's gonna be good. Like, I just... 
Based off the name, Love Arcade, that sounds cool. It's a very, like, arcadey vibe, which makes sense. I like this part. I like the vibe of this song for sure. I like this part a lot. This part. The beat, like I said, the beat got very arcadey. It feels like the music of an arcade game, literally. Like. Damn, I like that one. I feel like that one is something that's gonna grow on me a lot. Like I just, I feel like the vibe is so, it kind of gives like a retro vibe because of that like arcadey sound to the song. Like they definitely had moments where they literally sounded like they were playing a game that you find in an arcade. So yeah, I, I definitely feel like that's gonna grow on me a lot. I feel like I need to listen to it a few more times because I think I still think I liked Sunflower the most so far. I like I like Love Arcade more than Last Drop though. But yeah, I feel like Love Arcade has a lot of potential for me. In terms of the more I listen to it, I think I'll I might get like pretty addicted to it. But we'll see. Bubble. Already love the music to start off. Like this one has a retro vibe. It has even more of a retro vibe. I think it's called like a synthesized kind of beat. Absolutely love the beat. I don't know if I like the pairing of like the beat and the actual song so far though. I love the beat, but I don't know if I, I don't know if I like this song that much. It 
It's very weird, like I don't... It doesn't feel like it's mixing well. That's just me personally though. I like that part though. The, uh, I like the ad libs right now, whoever's doing that. And that. Wendy. Vocals, bro. It's got very nice like like vocal parts like that. I'm so polarized by this song. There's like parts of it that I absolutely love. But then like overall it just feels like kind of like av I, I don't know how to explain it i feel like there's so much potential with that song as well for me like i feel like it can either go like i absolutely grow in love with it or it just becomes like something that i just i don't really get into but it has a lot of potential for sure i loved as soon as the beat came on like the very first second i absolutely loved the vibe but then like it just felt like it was super slow like it was compared like it did not match the flow expectations that i had i don't know what type of flow i was expecting but it definitely wasn't that so it was kind of like in a way a disappointment but like it definitely wasn't a bad song either i don't know how to feel or or even like talk about that because it was so weird like it gave me a weird feeling but anyways um i feel like that could become like a very addicting song though but anyways, Night Drive, last song of the album. So far, it's been really good. They, they always produce amazing music. Regardless of whether I like the songs or not, the music, production, the vocals, the, the beats, all of that stuff are amazing so far. So in that way, they did amazing. I loved Sunflower and Love Arcade so far. The other two were a bit... I don't know. The last one was interesting. I don't think I was a big fan of Last Drop, but last b-side night drive let's get into it let's end off with a bang already starting with some nice vocals This one also seems to have a little bit of a retro vibe, which I like. I like the lyrics. Yes, I like this one, bro. This is a driving vibe too, for sure. It's called night drive, so that automatically makes it a night vibe while driving.
Oh, I like the flow of that part, bro. There was another part in the song that had a similar flow. Ooh, Randy. Ad libs. I like the lyrics. I love Sogi's vocals, bro. They're so like. She's like, I feel like her, a lullaby from Sogi would hit so different. Bro, Wendy, bro, Wendy. She's still going. Oh. I love how she did it and then they continue the vote. Oh, she's going off in the back. This is the best song in the album, to be honest. Perfect way to end it. The, the like the mixing and like harmonization is perfect. That was an amazing way to end it, bro. Like I said, it had a little bit of a retro touch to it as well. That was an amazing way to end this song, the album. Whew! Red Velvet. Um, what is this album even called? Is it just called Cosmic? Yeah, it's an EP. Absolutely amazing EP. Three out of the five B-sides were, were amazing in my opinion. Two for sure. The third one, Love Arcade, I feel like has a lot of potential to become amazing for me and i feel like honestly even um the fourth b-side i forget the name right now but i think even that one has a lot of potential for me to like bubble i think it was called the only one that i was like based off first listen was just whatever was last drop but yeah if you guys enjoyed hopefully you did if you did enjoy this video if you're a lovey if you're new to this channel make sure to leave a like and subscribe because i would greatly appreciate that a lot of you guys watch the videos and and are not liked or subscribed <laughs> so hopefully you guys do that this time i would i would really appreciate it um if you guys um want to see more red velvet content make sure to let me know below any recommendations you have join the discord server you can recommend me stuff there as well follow the twitch join the patreon um and yeah make sure to check out my reaction to the comeback as well if you haven't already and uh yeah hopefully i'll see you guys in the next one